Hi, it's Karen with Living Our Dream Homestead, where today we're going to be making pumpkin bread with a maple icing. Well, first we need to do is I turned on my oven to 350 degrees, and today we'll be using a 9 by 5 inch loaf pan. Now we need to grease the loaf pan. You can use a cooking spray if you'd like, but I'm going to be using parchment paper today. You know how sometimes when you spray it with the spray, sometimes your bread still sticks? Well, parchment paper usually takes care of that problem and be easier to lift up. So that's what I've put in my loaf pan today. So first we need to go ahead and get a large bowl. And in this bowl, I have two cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to go ahead and add in one cup of brown sugar. Next, in this bowl, I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of baking powder, a fourth teaspoon of soda, a fourth teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Then I'm going to be adding a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, a fourth teaspoon of ginger, and a fourth teaspoon of ground cloves, which I have right here in this bowl. So we're going to go ahead and add that in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in half a cup of evaporated milk. Next, I'm going to be adding in two eggs. Now these are kind of medium slash large is what you would probably need for this bread. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in one cup of pumpkin. Now again, this pumpkin was, uh, I had it, it was, fr it's fresh, but it was frozen. And it was one that I bought at the store and I ended up cooking it. So if you use canned pumpkin, again, make sure it's one that doesn't have the spices added. Go ahead and put that in there. And now we're going to go ahead and add in a third cup of melted butter. Now this is unsalted butter. You would need that because we have put salt in the recipe. If you used salt butter, and then we had salt separately, we would have oversalted our bread. So again, this is unsalted butter, a third of a cup. Go ahead and put that in there. And now I'm going to go ahead and mix this. Your batter should look like this. If you like what you're seeing today, please hit the subscribe button down below. Um, I used a hand mixer and I beat it on medium speed to get it to look like this consistency. Now we need to go ahead and pour the batter into our pan. smoothed out. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven at 350 degrees for 60 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean. The bread is out and it is cooling. I've got it right here. I showed you a picture of it up close. I've been letting it cool about 30 minutes. It doesn't feel lightly, uh, lightly warm, but uh, most of it's cool. So in this bowl, I went ahead and made a maple icing that we're going to go ahead and put over our pumpkin bread. I have half a cup of confectionery sugar in here, three tablespoons of maple syrup, and then I have got a um, tablespoon of milk. Now you could use whole milk if you have it, that would make it taste better, or 2% milk, and I just use 2% milk. And it's kind of like an icing consistency. Some of it's a little runny, but that's okay. You can see it here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this on the cake. 
or excuse me, bread. <laughs> I think of icing for a cake more than, uh, you know, a loaf of bread. Go ahead and try to spread it around here. Let's see if I can get a little bit more on here. Now, again, if you want more of a runny um, icing, you could just add a little bit more maple syrup or a little bit more milk. Or if you want it thicker, then you can cut back on that as well. I didn't add a lot of confectionery sugar. Again, I like my icing to go ahead and actually taste like maple icing rather than just sugar. You know, a lot of recipes, the uh, sugar is just so much that honestly, I don't think we need all that. So. That looks pretty good. Now, if I had it more runnier, it'd be running down the sides, but I think this looks pretty good. That's our pumpkin bread with maple icing. That's dripping a little bit there on the floor. My dog would probably discover it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and cut a piece and see how it tastes. Okay, well, that looks beautiful there. All right, let's go ahead and try it. Mm. It has a really good flavor and it's moist. Thank you for watching. This was Karen with Living Our Dream Homestead, and I hope you have a good day.